a piece of wire of length 40 centimeters is cut into two pieces. So this is say a 40 centimeter wire. This is a 40 centimeter wire and you're cutting that into two pieces. This is a 40 centimeter wire. One piece is bent to form an equilateral triangle and the other is bent to form a square. Find the length of the sides of the two shapes when the combined area is minimum. So this is an example of minimization or optimization. So we'll have to do uh, differentiation. Okay, so let me draw a piece of wire. Say this is the 40 centimeter wire. Say this is A, this is A and this is B and this total length is 40 centimeters. And from this, you're cutting somewhere, so let me draw an equilateral triangle. Say this is an equilateral triangle. And you got a square. Okay, so we this is a square. So you're cutting somewhere. Say, let's say this is where you cut. And say, let me call this C. This is C. So if say I'll, I'm calling this 3x, okay, now from this I'm going to make the equilateral triangle. So each of them, all of them are equal. So each of them would be x. Okay, and because this is from 3x. So and the total length is 40. So the distance from C to B would be 40 minus 3x. So the length from this you're going to make the square. So this would be uh, this the length of each side all the lengths are equal some equal uh, sorry it's a square so if you divide the whole thing by 4 this will be 10 minus 0 0.75 x and this would also be 10 minus so if you divide 40 by 10 it'll be 4 sorry 40 divided by 4 is 10 uh, and 3 divided by 4 is 3 quarter, and 3 quarter is 0.75. That's, that's how I wrote 10 minus 0.75x. Okay, so the area, so the area of the square, okay, for the area of the square, we have to use <coughs> uh, base time height. So I'm going to drop a perpendicular from this vertex to the, so here, this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle, and as these two sides are equal, this much would be x over 2, and this would also be x over 2. So let me call this the height. So using Pythagoras, I can say h squared is equal to x squared minus x squared over 4. Using this triangle, so using Pythagoras, this is the shorter side, so this squared minus this squared. That's why I wrote x squared minus x squared over 4. So this is 1x squared minus a quarter x squared, which is 3 quarter x squared. Your h squared is 3 quarter x, h, 3 quarter x squared. So your h would be, taking square root of both sides, would be square root of 3 over 2 x. So your height in terms of x is 3, 3 over 2 x. So the area is half base times height. Area of the triangle is half times base. The base is x and your height also in terms of x is 3, 3 over 2 x. Now this is a neat formula to remember. Area of an equilateral triangle is 3 quarter root 3 over 4 x squared. x is the side of the equilateral triangle. So if you know one side of an equilateral triangle, you can use this formula to find the area of an equilateral triangle. Now area of this square, area of this square would be 10 minus 0 0.75x times 10 minus 0 0.75x. So let's expand this. So this we expand this out. This is 10 times 10 is 100 minus 7.5x minus 7.5x 
plus 7.5 times 7, 7, so let me do it on the calculator, so 0 0.75, 0 0.75 squared is 0.5625, so this would be 0.5625, 0 0.5625 x squared. So the area of the square is writing this in an order, so this will be in a quadratic form, this is 0.5625x squared. This becomes 15x minus 15x plus 100. I'll come back after doing some cleaning up. So the area of the square is uh, uh, root 3 over 4x squared and area of, area of the equilateral triangle is root 3 over 4x squared and area of the square is 0.5625x squared minus 15x plus 100. So the total area, so I can say T area in terms of x. Okay, so this is a function of x, which would be root 3 over 4x squared plus 0.5625x squared minus 100 minus 15x plus 100. <clears throat> okay, now for minimum area, now for minimum area, I can say t, the, 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 the derivative t of ax should be 0, or the derivative or the differentiation of this function with respect to x should be 0. So what is t dash or t prime x? t prime of x. So let me use a smaller eraser. So t t dash a of x. That means this is in simple language. What's the grad uh, What's the gradient or what's the derivative of this function? So using differentiation. So this will be root three over four, which is a coefficient times x squared, the differentiation of x squared is 2x plus, you have to drop the power down, so 0 0.5625 times 2 is 1.125. So I can say this is 1.125x minus 15, and the gradient of uh, derivative of this is 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so let us solve this for x. So I can say <coughs> root, this is root 3 over 2x plus 1.125x is equal to 15. So if I factor out x, I can write this as root 3 over 2 plus 1.125 is equal to 15. Okay, so this is... Okay, so let's simplify this. So this is, this I can write, I want to get the exact answer. This is root 3 plus 1.125 times 2, cross multiplying. Oh, this is plus 2.25. So plus 2.25 over, am I right? 2.25 over 2. So what I've done is basically I've multiplied this by 2 and this also by 2. So this is 2.25 over 2. So this is root 3, 5 plus, root 3 plus 2.25. Again, so this is x is equal to, again, multiplying both sides by 2. This would become 30 over root 3 plus 1 point, plus 2.25. So one the exact answer. So the value of x or the length of the equilateral triangle would be this. So let me use a calculator. So this is 30 divided by shift square root of 3 plus 2.25, which is 7.533. So I'll save this as a number. So this is, press this arrow key and press alpha A. So my calculator will remember this whole number as A. Okay, so this is 7. Point phi dash dot dot dot. I'm going to save that as A.
So this is, so you can say, <coughs> so the length, length of equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle is 7.5, it was 7.5338, 7.5338. Dot dot dot. I've saved that as letter A. And length of the square was how much? 10 minus 0.75x. So that is 10 minus 0.75x. And my x is A. So let me use my calculator again to get the exact answer. So 10 minus 0 or 0.75 times alpha A is 4.34, so I'll save that, okay, 4.35 to round it, so this is 4.35, this is in 2 dp. Now I want to show this answer or this in a graphical way. So the equation of or the area, the total area in terms of x is this, so my I've changed this this x, okay, so I can, okay, so this is 7 point, okay, I'm going to use x, so if you go to, uh, okay, so if you go to graph and type in shift root 3 x squared divided by 4 plus 0 0.5625 x squared minus 15x plus 100. Now if x is 0, I hope you understand your total area is going to be 100, which would be the area of the square. Okay, so and then I need to change the scale. I'll go from 0 to say 25, scale of 2, on and y, I'll go from 0 to 120, scale of 10, so this is your graph. Okay, so this is the minimum point, so GSOL and uh, minimum. Uh, minimum is 5, okay. For some reason I'm not getting this, so X is, X is, yeah, this is the total area, yeah. So, uh, this is the exact answer. So let me do it in a different way. So I need to type in, uh, let me type in the root bracket, shift root three in the bracket, x squared. Okay, so let me see the function. Okay, uh, plus 0 0.5625 x squared minus 15x plus 100. Hopefully I will get it. Uh, oh, I, did, I made a mistake, so this should be divided by 4. Divided by 4 and this all and the minimum. Yeah, I got the exact. So x, I should have put the square root in uh, root 3 in a bracket. So when x is 7.533, you get the total minimum area of 43.49.